Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today we're going to do the half of your book tag. So this tag is very, very similar to the mid-year book freakout tag, which I just did and uh, which should have been posted prior to this video, but you know how things work. Um, so it's very similar to the mid-year book freakout tag. Were those the right words? Possibly, possibly not. Who knows? Um, there's a very, very slight difference. So why am I doing both of them? Um, well, content. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also going to see if I can, you know, answer the questions that are most similar to each other a bit differently. Um, so we shall see. We shall see. So, question number one. Favourite standalone book hauled and read so far in 2022? So, I've read very few standalones this year and even fewer that I actually hauled this year. So, the only really answer to this question would be with this kiss by carrie hope fletcher question number two favorite series that you started or continued to read in 2022 so i concluded the magpie society by Zoe Sug and Amy McCullough. Um, so I read the first book last year, I want to say, and then I reread it this year as well, and I concluded it this year. Skyward by Brandon Sanderson is also one I started, and I really, really love this book. Um, I have heard uh, the sequels are not that great, or as great as the first one, so might not continue to be a favorite series but so far so good and the prison healer by lynette noni yes it, i'm so excited for book number two um i just need to pick it up <laughs> i also both started and finished the trials of apollo series by rick ryden so i read all five of those books and yeah, it's Rick Ryan, and what can I say? It's 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 funny. It doesn't stand up as much as to the prior priory, the prior Rick Ryan books, but I very much enjoy that series. Question number three: favorite bookish item purchased or received this year? I'm not sure I've bought or received any bookish items this year because I don't normally um really the only bookish item I want is a book I don't know what to do with everything else but I'm sure at some point one of these days I'll get a bookish item that I will find very useful and I will use all the time Question number four, favourite debut author? Um, so I answered this one kind of in the mid-year book freakout tag, um, but there the question is favourite debut or new author to you. Um, I'm not sure I actually read any debut authors, so I'm going to have to give that one a pass. Question number five, favourite underhyped book that you read this year? Honestly, not sure about that one. Underhyped. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Overhyped, on the other hand. That one. Although, not favourite overhyped book, more least favorite overhyped book question number six favorite book read this year that you were late to the party on hmm honestly not sure because really the the ones that have been like hyped have already read and i reread this year of the ones i've read does that make any sense um maybe Maybe the prison healer. I'm not sure whether it, when it came out. Was it last year or the year before? I don't know. Either or. 
I mean, Good Omens was a good while ago, but I'm not sure that's been like hyped until the show came out. So I don't know. Help me out in the comments, will ya? Question number seven. Potential favorite that you haven't got around to reading yet. Um, let's see. Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. Uh, mostly because I usually love her books. They're nice reads. I don't know what more to say about that, honestly. Oh, The Christmasaurus and the Nautilus, book number three in the Christmasaurus series by Tom Fletcher. Uh, Giovanna's uh, husband, or oh, Yana. Um, but that one I am planning to read around Bookmas in December, so it will happen. I also plan to like reread the first two ones and then make a whole thing of it. We'll see, we'll see. I want to say The House and the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune, but at the same time, I've heard very mixed reviews on that one, so I'm a bit skeptic on it. But I want to keep an open mind. I mean, at least it's pretty. It's a pretty, pretty cover. Oh, The Invisible Life at Adela LaRue by Via Schwab. That's also one that I've been meaning to get to. And uh, I do hope I'm gonna like it because I just really like the premise of it. It seems like a good read, but... And also the, um, the edition I have has like illustrations and stuff in it. So I'm kind of excited to crack crack into that one question number eight a favorite reread in 2022 so i mean i have the twilight ones but not really like on the top scale of the favorite ones um but of the like rereads audiobooks i mean i'm all, always gonna love this series i'm i'm not gonna lie but it's Actually, not that one. I would probably go with either a Hunger Games series that was read by, um, who was it again? Tatiana Maslany. Um, she did such a good job on those and I was like, yes, yes, please read me more books. I love this. Um, I also very much enjoyed The Hobbit that was narrated by Andy Serkis, who Place Gollum, I mean, who better than Andy Serkis to narrate those books? It's like a whole cast of people, but it's just one person. Honestly, chef's kiss. Um, any more of them? I did have a good time with The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy as well. But didn't really top as much as like The Hunger Games and uh, The Hobbit did. So I'm going to have to go with those. Question number nine. Favourite cover on a book released this year? Oh. Ooh. Okay. Let's have a... Let's have a sneaky little look in Goodreads or... You know, Google. Okay, so I'm just going by what um, Google is telling me. I searched book. <laughs> I searched books released in 2022. So this is this is all down to Google. Let's see. Let's see. There's not a lot on this list, but okay. Hmm. 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 Ooh, Gallant by V. A. Schwab. I really like that cover. It's like it's like Victorian era, but like modern and romantic in a way. That's a very weird description, but that's that's the vibes I'm getting. So we're going with it. Let's see, are there any more interesting ones? Oh, Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor is also one. It's like purple, dark academia kind of a vibey thing. I'm just, I'm just liking it. Yeah. Uh, and maybe Book Lovers by Emily Hendry. That's also, 
I like colors. It just, I like colors. I like the simple simplicity of it and I like the colors. It just speaks to me. There we go. So question number 10 is an optional question, but I'm just going to say it anyway. And it's favorite book box of this year. Now, I don't subscribe to any book boxes, so my question, my question, my answer would have to be none. Um, I wish I could answer this question, but also I'm not sure I want all the book boxes, so I don't know. But anyway, so that was all for this tag. I hope that the similar questions that were similar to the mini book freak out tag were answered a bit differently. I mean, I feel like I should know because I literally just filmed that video, but brain mouth. So no, no, I don't remember a thing. Um, I, I guess editing me will see about that one. I don't know. Um, Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye.